Welcome to the first round of the playoffs. Uh, this is the third take on this video. Uh, my phone is uh, storage is out and it's a work phone so I can't delete a lot of stuff but uh, I'm gonna have to go back over some of these and, and shorten it up a little bit but uh, you know we're, we're into the playoffs. You know I ended up a number one seed, Kenny in the number two seed, a couple guys snuck into the playoffs. Uh, we have a, a good opening first round and uh, so let's get right into those projections. Uh, first game I'm going to pick is going to be uh, Darren and uh, against Mike. Uh, Mike, you've got a nice team, and I think you're set for uh, the long term here, not just for this season. You came on strong at the end, uh, and I think you're built to, uh, to, to carry this over into next year. Uh, quarterbacks, I'm going to give... Uh, Trubisky's coming back off an of injury. Luck's coming off of a bad game. I don't think Luck has two bad, bad games in a row, even though they're playing Houston. It's a big playoff game there. Um, I think Chicago, maybe to me, they have a great defense, a little overrated, but I'm going to give a slight edge to, to Mike. Uh, running backs, uh, I'm also going to give that slight edge to Mike with Chubb and Michelle. Uh, you know, Dalvin Cook's played pretty well, but uh, Lewis doesn't impress me, and, and of course, Tennessee's offense doesn't impress me, but uh, Mike, I think you have the advantage there. Wide receivers, I'm actually looked. I've looked at these. You got uh, Diggs and Thiel against Thielen, Woods against Boyd, and Humphreys against DJ Moore. You know, I would give this to Mike, but I think it's going to be more of an even call because uh, I think the Cam Newton situation in Carolina may may affect DJ a little bit, and 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 also the AJ Green and and the quarterback situation in Cincinnati may affect uh, him as well. Um, so I'm going to call that one even, uh, tight ends, Mike, I think you've got it. Gronk's back, but he's not back. Uh, I think Kelsey and Ertz are the two best tight ends in the league. So I'm giving this one to, to Mike. And then I'm going to give a slight edge to the defense over to Darren because he's got some pretty good defensive players lined up, like some good matchups. Um, but at the end of the day, I think Mike squeaks this one out. CBS has it 168, 165. Darren, I think it's going to be the opposite. I think it's going to be 168, 165 Mike. So, Mike, you'll carry on to the second round. Uh, the next game uh, for the week is going to be Galaxy at Booty. Uh, again, Galaxy, you're a tough team, and you're going to be one to, to, to deal with uh, if you get through this round. Uh, I'm, CBS has you up by 20, and I'm, I think you're going to win. I don't know if it's going to be that much, but quarterback is going to be where it uh, could be questionable. Winston's been playing well. Newton had a terrible game last week, so we'll see if he can come back against a good Cleveland defense. But uh, I'm giving the edge to, to Booty there. Running backs, uh, I'm also I'm going to give the edge there to to Nick because I think White's going to catch a lot of passes uh, against Miami, uh, and Edwards is, is going to have a good day against Kansas City. Howard, not sold on him. McCoy, obviously, is a little bit over the hill. Wide receivers, uh, you got Brown and Hill and Sutton. Now, Sutton's the number one now with uh, the injuries there in Denver. But uh, uh, you got a nice lineup over there, uh, Booty. But uh, at the end of the day, I'm not going against Antonio Brown. I just know he and Hill together, that's a great combination. Tight end, Ertz. Again, I mentioned it earlier. He and Kelsey, the two top receiver tight ends in this league. Uh, so that edge goes uh, to Nick as well. Defense, I think, is going to be pretty close. So at the end of the day, I do think uh, uh, Nick wins this one and goes on to the next round. Uh, so we're looking forward to, to getting through this week and carrying on. Obviously, there'll be someone else uh, reporting next week since I'm on by. But uh, there is a consolation game this week. Uh, uh, looks like a couple of those. Uh, we got Toy Soldiers. Uh, I don't even know if I'm supposed to comment on these, but I'm going to put it in here anyway. But you got Toy Soldiers versus Hide and Seek. Obviously, Pat Mahomes. Uh, just glancing at this. Uh, I mean, Juju's over on uh, uh, Ethan's side, but I think Amari Cooper stepped up. So, Toy, you're going to get you another Constellation win, which to you, that's, that really doesn't mean anything as well. And then we're going to have Hogan's Heroes at Mental Cloth. And uh, those two games, Mental Claus got 162. He played great last week. Would have been the high score. I mean, whew, what a game. But, I mean, there is green all down this one. So, Mental Claus, you're going into season with another win. But, uh, again, welcome to the playoffs. Uh, I look forward to whoever I want to play next week. And I'm sure Kenny does as well. Thank you. Uh, we'll see you next week.